you on the move? Flag down to Mr. Chili's ice skate truck. They're all over the city. Either way, stay cool. Hello, everybody. Hello, welcome to Friday. Happy Friday and welcome to the stream. I'm Shane. Uh, if you haven't been here before, it is uh, JR Art Lab Sketch Club. Thank you for joining us today. Um, so, just like every other week, we have uh, a subject matter for this week. And this week's subject matter is Panthers. Now, this subject matter came to us because we started working with one of the local schools and their mascot is actually the panther. So we thought it would be kind of cool. We've never painted panthers before. You know, I always try and pick something that came from uh, something that happened during the week. Um, so I think that's a good idea. Um, now, I do have a little bit of an... Uh, look at that. My, my camera's fighting with me a little bit. My, my webcam's fighting with me a little bit when it, it wants to look at that cool bee. Do you like our cool bee? It's kind of new. All right, well, welcome to the stream. Um, so I'm Shane and we're from JR Art Lab. Do -do. Uh, so uh, we do digital art workshops for all different people. We do creative coaching uh, for people that are a bit more professional or looking to develop their, their skill set in a particular area. We do 3D. Uh, 3D sculpting, 3D modeling, 3D printing. We do graphic design, digital painting, um, illustration, filmmaking, photography, uh, podcasting. And I think there's one more that I've forgotten. But anyway, uh, I will show you the website quickly when I switch over to my screen. So today's, today's subject matter is the panther. Um, we haven't done panthers before and we just thought it was a good idea because... Uh, we came across, we started working with the, one of the local schools in our area and um, their mascot is a panther and we've never done a panther. So it'll be something that I look back on in 50 years and remember, hopefully I'm still around. In 50 years, I'll look back and I'll remember like, oh, that was that time we started doing that thing. So I try and pick something each week that comes from our week. Now, you can do this with any kind of software, right? If you've got an iPad, you can use Procreate you know, sketchbook, um, you can use Affinity Photo, Photoshop, uh, whatever you like, whatever you're familiar with. Uh, you can also do it with pen and paper if you've got no digital devices around you or you've got a laptop but you don't have a graphics tablet for drawing, you can just do this on pen and paper. You know, it doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be digital. So our goal here is to uh, practice something new maybe discover a little bit of anatomy about creatures uh, and inc improve our skills. Um, expand our visual library is what we like to think of it as. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to my screen now. Now, if you haven't been here before, we're streaming live on three areas. We've got Facebook Live, we've got Twitch, and we've got YouTube. So if you want to chat with us, there is a chat on the Twitch stream. Um, so if, if you would like to suggest a topic, we're always are happy to hear people's suggestions for topics too. Um, maybe we'll do that next week if you guys put out a cool topic that we haven't done before or something that's inspiring. Um, yeah, so you can message us on any of the regular social media, Instagram, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can also send it to my email, which will be on the next screen. So I'm going to flip over to my screen here. Do, 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 digital painting. Pew. I need a sound effect for that. I keep thinking about it when I do it, but then I forget later on. Okay, so here's our website. If you haven't seen it before, uh, we had a studio in Toronto. 
um, and we moved online after COVID and now we're teaching all online. So if you're if you're an adult uh, or you're looking for or you're a kid and you're looking for after school classes, we do that. Um, but have a look through the side here. All the menus are on the side. There's all our streams. What did I forget? Video editor, documentary. I forgot that one too. All right. So uh, let's have a little look now. I am using uh, Mural. Uh, so I just switched over to mural here. Now what I do is I collect a bunch of references before our class. Um, and I'm going to give you a link in the chat. Uh, so you can open this up as well. All right. If you want to have a look at it and you want to, you might not want to do the same one as me. You might hate the one that I choose or, um, Okay, so the link is in the chat there, and you will be able to see that wherever you are. Uh, if you can't see it, maybe it doesn't appear for you. It's it's on the Twitch, most certainly. So uh, Twitch is my name, Shane Lucas, but with stained mucus. Uh, it's just kind of a little joke thing I did a long time ago that sort of stuck around. Okay, so... Uh, here are our references. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a little look through first and cull this down a little bit. And we're also going to have a little bit of a look at the anatomy um, and decide what we're going to do. Now, I really like uh, the colorful ones. I like this expressive stuff too. So we're going to choose. Now, I'm thinking there's a lot of blue but i'm thinking i might go with a different kind of palette so i'm just going to put these over here i love this green one i love this blue one uh there's a this one might be a tiger i don't know i i'm not sure they're all panther and it was very hard with the anatomy because i think the anatomy once you take the skin off i don't know what that was before um so there's this one says lioness but i think they're very similar anatomically um, at least the, the bone structure would be similar and probably the muscle structure. Mm, there's a bit of purple, a bit of green. So we've got to try and look at the color palettes and think about what we're doing. Okay, I really love this one because it's coming out of nothing. Look at that. We've never done something like that before, I think. Uh, I don't think we have anyway. Um, I like this guy too. It reminds me as in, if, you, if you're an old school... 80s baby you probably watched he-man and he had battle cat that looks like battle cat um or cringer his name was cringer when he wasn't battle cat um so i'm gonna put the ones that i like over to the side this is this i like the colorful ones but this is a bit too much color for me beautiful here this is a nice uh pose or gesture and good color uh, this red and purple is really magical. Very, looks like a 3D. Okay. A lot of rendering in this one. Okay, I like that one too. Okay, and here we have a skeleton. So, uh, just like us, we look like we've got one main big bone to further uh, the, the lower or further limbs are two bones um, then we've got the scapula the chest uh, the chest cage rib cage or chest cavity a spine and then the skull and then the continuation of that spine into the tail it's always good to just kind of have a look and i've got something somewhere i think here with the muscles so what kind of muscles are visible, right? Once you put the skin on them, you can see this muscle structure underneath. We might be able to highlight some of the ribs, uh, show some of those neck muscles. Um, okay. Just checking everything's okay on my stream there. Um, now I am gonna be painting with Clip Studio Paint. Oh, here we go. This is the good muscle one. Look at that. So it would be, if you really like big cats, I think I would be doing a study of these individual limbs, the back limb and the front limb, looking at the differences between the feet. They're very different, the front and the back feet. Uh, looking at the muscle structure, that definitely we want to try and get something in that shoulder blade area. Um, okay, beautiful color. Nice, nice and simple, that one. 
Okay, let's put that over to the side. We're going to end up with too many over in, in our cut down. Okay, we, we, we accidentally ended up with the cool Black Panther character, which is... I was, I was actually surprised when I was researching this to get all these images. There's some more um, anatomy stuff here. Uh, you've got the link there, so you can come through and have a look. More um, skeleton stuff. That looks like a photo that got turned into a graphic. We've got Cringer again. Let's see what else we've got. Some nice quick sketches. Okay, that, I like the expression on this one. And I also like, look at how different that is as a painting. This one looks like he's friendly. And this one looks like he's ready to eat something. Okay, what else have we got? Getting towards the end there. Another one where it's coming out of the shadow. I think that's the same one. I quite like this guy here. Okay, so I'm going to put that up there. Um, now, I just found all of these pictures online. Um, just Googling Google image search. Uh, where, where we're using them as references and to study from. So if you are... If you are one of the makers of one of these original pictures, thank you for letting us develop our skills. And thank you for putting it online. Okay, this illustration looks like, I think this could be an AI. Maybe. It has a bit of that vibe, right? Like, when AIs make an image, there's like a specific kind of vibe. Now, I love this. I love the colour and the pieces in there. I'm not sure we have time for that. Um, I think we're going to pick something and we're just going to do a study this week because uh, I think we might okay this one I really like the expression here what's, let's have a little bit of a look at this red one because we've only got a short period of time so it's a bit hard to mash something up we'll see we'll see sometimes we get two or three paintings done sometimes we just get one now, these are sketches, so they're allowed to fail, okay? They're allowed to not be great. I really like this guy, too. Okay, let me do a second cut down. One, two, or at least put these ones together. Uh, one, two. One, two, three. I think we might keep... Would like to try that. Okay, let's put these three. Let's see what we can keep visible. So I try and keep them visible for you guys to be able to see. I think that one can come out. Um, while we're painting. So, but you can always go to the mural. Or you can take a screenshot very quickly. Um, and then use that screenshot. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to shrink this down. And we'll start off with this. Oh, not enough space. Okay, looks like we only get two rows. Two rows is good. That's pretty good. Okay, we've got everything. Can I see all my tools? That looks good. All right. Now, if you don't like paint sketching... Um, Okay, 72 DPI, 3,000 by 4,000. That was a bit slow last week, so let's make it... Um, uh, height, let's do 1920 and 1080. Um, let's make it a little bit, sh a little bit longer. 1080, a little bit wider. Let's make it 1300. Let's see. Mm, let's go 1400. Okay, that looks good. Mm, let's give that a go. Okay. Uh, brush time. All right, let's get set up here. Now, you can start whenever you're ready. Uh, if you want to follow along with me, you can follow along with me. If you're using 
just the references go for it whenever you're ready panther week where is my brush here it is i haven't had a class since this morning today so it might mean it might need a little warm-up let's not turn that on and let's get rid of this nope that's it okay so I'm really loving Clip Studio Paint. Um, I love too that you can get a version where you don't have to pay by the pay per month. So let's give ourselves an extra layer. I'm gonna give myself a little background. And we're gonna make ourselves a little color palette. Where's my color palette? Where is my color palette? There it is, color mix. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try a purple-ish, yellowish. Okay, so if I like a colour, I'm just going to put it into the colour palette. on there let's switch that to brush size this is good I'm not getting any lag we're having a little bit of lag trouble with uh, Clip Studio though. So I'm just making something in the background here. Now we are going to need a bunch of we want to find a good purple I feel like I want to be a bit bluer Let's get into it. This is kind of a really fun bit. If you just like to splash paint around, I think we all like to splash paint around. I might keep the purple. Under control so we don't end up with a lot of vibrant I actually want to have a bit more dark down here I think okay. okay and then we'll hit it with a bit of a painterly blender See lag. Mix 
twist those colors around a little bit. This kind of just helps you get if you if you play a little bit when you start, you get in the in the playful mood. But I think when you play a little bit, it, it sort of relaxes you. Well, if you're doing a live stream and you're a bit unsure of what you're doing, this is very on very on the fly. Um, now I have got a grey toned canvas here. Uh, so my paper that I set up as the default has that 50% gray. But yeah, getting, getting the arm moving. All right. Let's make ourselves a another sculpture our layer and let's start thinking about our panther so I'm gonna go back to my color mixing I really kind of want those two things visible at the same time let's move layer over to here and see how that goes what's in there that's my brush properties um, maybe there let's try that out and we'll make sure we're on that new layer. All right, let's start off. Why is that not sampling? There we go. Let's start off with getting some shape here. Not an eraser. We want a brush again. Just gonna pop back to my brush layer, my base layer, and blend that out a bit there.
Okay, I think we're gonna darken that down in the back. So now we can see a bit more of... Oh.
how's everyone doing? I hope you're doing alright out there. Kind of just diving straight into it. See what we can get done. Oh, there's my noisy sales ad. I don't know if you can hear that in there, but my my girl dog kind of starts up about 8.30 when she wants her food time. So I kind of just whack it all in and then just start refining what I want it to be. Oh. Oh, good. I didn't want that. Let's have a look. What sort of erasers do we have? Needed eraser, soft eraser. I think we would like a needed eraser. Okay. Let's try a bit more work on, I'm gonna zoom out again. See if we can get our move this mouse up a little bit. Oh, I love the background now, so I'm going to change that. Where's my layout there? I think that should actually be a different color, so let's try...
we doing for time? Not doing too bad. Still got at least 10 minutes to go. Oops. All right, let's observe the eyes a little bit closer.
Thank you for joining. to merge that now we've got a problem well no we don't Pink looks kind of cool. So does that. So does that. That's giving me phantom vibes. The the art the, the comic guy. I think I want something like this though. All right, let's see. That looks pretty cool. Can I get that blue a bit bluer? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, we've got to fix that top bit though. Let's merge that down. And we'll get a little bit of a brush for this section. No, don't do that. How long have we got? We've got a couple of minutes, about five minutes to go. Let's see what we can, how we can finish this off.
looks like we are out of time for today. Let me just hit a little bit of smudge on here. So it's always, as always, it's been fun. Um, putting a bit of pressure on ourselves to draw something within the time limit is always a experiment and joyful and also stressful. Um, I hope you guys had a great stream. I hope you made something that looks pretty cool. Um, I think you, if you like something like this, you can um, always spend more time working on it and turn it into something finished or use this as a study for the next painting. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit of smudgy in the back here. Pulling a bit too much attention. And there is a, a sm there's a little blip there, and I think there's a little blip up there. Oh, not eraser. Smudge. All right. Well, there we have our panther for today. Thank you for joining us on the stream. If you would like to suggest a topic, we will be here again next week with a new subject matter. Um, and have a wonderful week. Uh, you can send in your suggestions for a subject or a topic uh, in another week if you would like to. And we will take a look at that. Um, happy painting. You can see I'm, I'm stuck in it now. I just want to keep refining. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next week. Have a great weekend, guys. Happy Chinese New Year.